if you play video games, you've heard of Nintendo. Now, say what you will about their business practices, but you must admit Nintendo was like the Jesus of the video game industry. In 1991, Sonic the Hedgehog hit the scene, something that could fight against the Plumber Boy. Sonic blew up and finally gave Nintendo a run for its money. Others had tried, but, well, you know, it's hard to kill a king, and Sonic had only wounded him. However, three years later, Sony arrived with their PlayStation, finally shooting Nintendo in the chest. Nintendo held on, but barely survived. They were struggling to keep up and soon had to release their new console, the Nintendo 64. September 26, 1996. The N64 hit store shelves and it flopped. But it was released with a whole two, count them, two games. Take that, Sony, you and your 10. Fuck. These two games were the best ever and something no one really cared about. I grew up with the N64 and we didn't have a lot of games. I played Mario 64 but never learned how to play it properly. I went back to it 13 years later with 3D All-Stars and realized I don't even like this game. But we'll get into that later. Mario 64 was not the first 3D platformer, but it refined the genre and inspired all further games to come. We've all seen Mario 64, we know how it plays, it functions fairly well for a 1996 game with this fucking monstrosity of a controller. Seriously, this thing is one of the worst things I've ever held in my life. In my experience, I never got past Bob on Battlefield as a kid. I never learned that you had to grab King Bob with the B button. Shut the fuck up, I was like four. After replaying the game, I got to Tall Tall Mountain about halfway through, and I realized that I didn't really like the game that much. I understand that as time goes on, older things seem worse, but Mario 64 is the kind of thing where it's so old, I can't really seem to enjoy it. The general jank of an N64 game, the controls don't feel that great, and I hate to say it, but the game just doesn't look that good. As a historic game, it's great. However, personally to me, it's an okay game at best and a bad game at worst. It's something you really had to have grown up with in order to fully enjoy, and I did that, but it's still hard to say that I loved the game. Mario 64 is a game that I can respect, but I don't have to like it. I'm not here to shit on it though. The game truly is revolutionary and was the starting point for most 3D platformers at the time. I love what Nintendo brought to the table here, but the table is now old and moldy. However, this isn't to say Mario 64 is bad. Lots of people call it their favorite and the best Mario game ever. It's a personal thing, really. I've never truly gotten into games like that, and that's probably why I'm not a fan. I've got a lot of friends who don't like the game, but respect what it's done for gaming as a whole. I think that's the best way to describe Mario 64. Inspirational. I think the game does what it wants to do just fine with what it had, and all it was missing were a few extra touches. And Luigi. Uh, hi, thanks for watching. Um, I know this video took a long time to get done, and I'm sorry for that, but I hope you enjoyed this little, I guess, experiment. I do want to make more videos like this, but they actually make sense, like proper video essays. Uh, this was just me vent, like saying some opinions, but I hope they got the point across anyway, and I hope it was enjoyable. I'm not the best with editing, as everyone could tell, but I hope I did a decent job of keeping your attention. I sure kept mine, but uh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and let me know what I should improve on, and what you might want to see me talk about next time.